please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any hot reviews. Hey, I'm Mike Jack. And I'm Jamie. And, and this, this is Hot Reviews. reviews. Today on our reviews, we're going to be trying some sauces from Cooksville. They're from Hamilton, Ontario. They've been making hot sauce since 1974. They're like the OGs. Word dog. They probably have the like biggest lineup too, right? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm not sure how many sauces they had, but they had a crazy amount of sauces when we saw them at Ewe yeah. Hot Sauce Expo. You're just like, oh my gosh, I like can't decide. It's super awesome because they have like sauces from like different, like inspired from different countries yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how many sauces do you think they had? Just a guess. I think they have over 20. I think so too. I think I think that they had like maybe over 30. Okay, yeah, I believe it. Because I don't think that, I think they said they didn't even have all the sauces they, there. No, they didn't. Them, yeah, and they had a lot of sauces. It was so many choices and yeah, they had them all like, all like typed up like yeah. what was in them and stuff yeah, like that. that. So you could kind of like look through like almost a little index of sauces. That's how many sauces they had. Yeah. But yeah, if you've been making sauces since 1974, then you've had a lot of time to create like a pretty crazy lineup of sauces. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So the first sauce we're going to try here today from Cooksville is their hot sauce forte. On it, it says uh, for ingredients, hot peppers, Vinegar, water, salt, lemons, and lime. I love the lemon and limes in the sauce. Yeah. It's got a pretty cool label there. Uh, there's some fire in a circle there, and there are demons or devils <laughs> with uh, pitchforks. So I guess uh, it's probably hot, right? Yeah. I'm not totally sure. I guess I should have looked this up, but I think this might be like kind of just like their like basic hot sauce. Okay. Because it just says... Because it just says hot sauce, right? Yeah. So, and it doesn't say what kind of peppers on it. It just says hot peppers. So, I'm not sure. Like, it's got a little pepper here. Um, I feel like it's probably like a classic sauce. Yeah, like for sure. Like something that you put on anything. Yeah, definitely. I think it's just, um, you know, it's probably not their, like, craziest hot, hot mm. sauce, I guess. So, but anyway, let's, uh, let's check it out. You know, will give it a little... Shake first here. Oh, that smells pretty good. I can smell tomatoes. It smells like a garden. It smells kind of sweet like tomatoes but it doesn't say that there's tomatoes in there okay that's why i kind of looked at the label because i smelled something that smells sweet like right? it smells like salsa right it does smell like salsa i think it's like i'm not sure what peppers are in there it kind of sm it smells like it might be like like some like cayennes or something okay I'm not sure. It does smell like tomatoes though, yeah. right? Yeah. I agree with you, but it doesn't say there's any in there, but I don't know. We could just try it. Well, let's try it. See, it tastes like tomatoes. Or... That's a good thing. It has lots of seeds. <sighs> yeah, it looks good. I'm pouring it out there. It's like that nice mix of like chunky but kind of watery sauce. It's like... It's darker than I expected, mm -hmm. to be honest. And yeah, there's lots of there's lots of chunks in there. I guess it's peppers and seeds. You know, yeah, for sure. I see like tons of seeds. Yeah, the other stuff wouldn't leave chunks. Yeah, there's like pepper chunks in there. Yeah. All right, let's okay. try it. I think it tastes like a spicy tomato sauce. It's it spicier does. than I thought it would be. Yeah. I wasn't really, I wasn't really sure like what the spice level would be because it just says hot peppers, right? Yeah. But I can, I can taste like this, like to me, this is a pretty mild sauce. Yeah, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, like I can taste like a little bit of, mm -hmm. a little bit of heat in there. 
I kind of like it when sauce is, um, like, uh, I think they cut, they cut down on the vinegar by adding water. Okay. Because, yeah, you can kind of, you know, water doesn't really have a taste, but right. you can kind of feel that there's, like, water in there, right? And I don't taste any vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really either. I think that this sauce you would put on anything. Oh, yeah, definitely. I also think that it would be awesome to use in pasta sauce or, um, using it like as a base for a uh, pizza. Oh yeah, it would be, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea to yeah. use it for like a pizza sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with I, that. Yeah, I would put it on everything. Yeah, it's yeah. a versatile sauce, but yeah, I kind of think it would be best for, yeah, like on like, on pasta, that's what I would probably use this one for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like, but yeah, you can use it on most stuff. I like too. It's um, I like sauces that have like the like lime in it. This yes. one's got lime and yes. lemon because it kind of comes out more like afterwards. Like you kind of get that taste of heat, and then you're like left with kind of like the kind of like taste of lime. I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, right now I don't it's really like feel refreshing. any. Yeah. And the, I think the like water in it instead of vinegar mm -hmm. is a bit refreshing too. And yeah, I like that. I'm kind of I'm still tasting like kind of lime and lemon right now but yeah. the heat is like is like totally gone I'd say so but yeah it's good sauce Cooksville. So a funny thing is is like at work we have like lockers where we can store our stuff in it. Oh yeah. So basically the only thing that's ever in my locker is hot sauce. Yeah. So I would bring this one to work and keep it in my locker because I would be confident that I could put it on anything. Yeah that's good yeah. Or it's one where you just like bring when you weren't sure what you were gonna have for dinner and you just like bring it along because you know it will go look good on it. Yeah, definitely. So the next hot sauce we're gonna try here today from Cooksville is their Bikini Atoll Reaper Scorpion and Ghost Pepper Bomb Blast. And for ingredients, this sauce has Carolina Reaper, Trinidad Scorpion, and Ghost Peppers raspberries, mint, ground black pepper, lime juice, vinegar, salt, and water. I'm interested in the raspberries. Yeah. And um, what did you see after raspberries? Oh, mint. Yeah. Yeah, that's super interesting. Yeah, that's kind of a, it's kind of an interesting combo of yeah. flavors there. You don't see a lot of stuff like that, especially with, you know, like the three, like three yeah. really hot peppers. Yeah. Usually, that's just, that's all it is, is like peppers and, you know, basically like vinegar and stuff yeah. like that. But this one, they've added the, yeah, the raspberries, the mint, uh, you know, the black pepper and lime. I like those and yeah. sauces for sure. And then, yeah, there's like water in it again. So, yeah. And vinegar is way down on the list. Like, right. there's vinegar in it, yeah. but it's way down the ingredients list. So it's not going to be a very vinegary sauce, which I'm excited about too. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is their hottest sauce, right? I'm not, I think that it is. I'm not totally sure either though, but I'm pretty sure. I think that, it, I think we got this one from them because yeah. I asked them. We got these a while ago, so I don't really remember. But I'm pretty sure I was like, oh, what's your oddest one? And then this was the one yeah. that they gave us, so. Let's give her, give her a good shake here. It has like a warning on it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Right here, right? Extremely hot. Oh, it does. It just, yeah, it just says extremely hot, all natural, contains no artificial colors or preservatives. Keep out of reach of children and pets. Do not get in eyes. So um, I guess I probably shouldn't put this one in my <laughs> eyes. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Is it really peppery? Yeah. All I can, all I can smell really is reapers. Yeah. It smells like reapers for sure. Yeah, maybe there's like a tiny, tiny bit of raspberry, but basically all I can smell is peppers. I think you're right. Yeah, I can, yeah, just right off the top it's... But, if yeah. I didn't know there was raspberries in it, I don't think I could pinpoint the scent. Yeah, that's right? true. But I think if you... I think if you try really hard, you can smell it. You have to get past that pepper smell. Yeah, but... This one's like orangey too, eh? Yeah. It is a pretty bright sauce there. This 
one's like watery too. That's a good thing. That's good. Yeah, this one's like um, kind of that watery with chunks. Yeah. I found when it's watery with chunks, it's good to like, because you can put it like all in your food instead of yeah. just on top. Like when you say watery, like some sauces are really watery. Yeah. And this one's not like, not crazy watery. No. But yeah, it's I, it's got a good consistency because it's not like, uh, yeah, it's not like so watery that it's just going to like kind of make a mess no. and go through everything when you pour but, it on the food. But it's got, it's got the consistency. It'll still like stay on top yeah. of the food, but it's got a nice smooth pour. Because I think for pizza, like a good like kind of plop sauce. Yeah, plop sauce. I don't know what to call it. Okay. Plop sauce, I'm going to call it. It's like what's good on pizza. Yeah, definitely. But a plop sauce for me is not the most ideal for pasta. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, yeah, I'd agree with you. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mmm. Okay, before I even swallow it, I can Ooh. taste it. Oh, it gave me a little shiver there. <laughs> it gave me a shiver too. It tastes the raspberry a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It tastes the raspberry at the end. Sauce, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's building. It's building on my tongue now. I think it's dying down. You think it's dying down? I still think it's getting hotter for me. I'll try to keep it in my mouth for a while before I swallow. But yeah, I can just feel it. I can feel like it's. I can feel like the scorpion burn. Like kind of on the, the tip of my tongue. Like I, I described the scorpion peppers as giving a burn. It's kind of like a sting. Like it's like a deep burn. My mouth is getting kind of saliva, like filling up with a bit of it. But yeah, I'd say it's like I like this sauce. It's like a good, uh, you know, pepper forward sauce, and it brings the heat. Yeah, which is a tiny bit of like a flavor aftertaste. Yeah, but yeah, it's. You're right. Like you can, you get a bit of flavor from like a strawberry and the mint in yeah. there. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Right now I'm getting kind of like, uh, like the black pepper, which is kind of like I think black pepper kind of lends to lends to the burn of like the uh, of the hot peppers. It's definitely a tongue burn sauce. Yeah. It gave me the shakes at first, but now it's like a comfortable burn, yeah. which is like what I like in a sauce because I can't handle the like extreme stuff. Yeah, for sure. It's not, definitely not the hottest sauce no. on the market, but it's like hot enough. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. This is like a, yeah, I'd say that this is a hot sauce. It would be like a comfortable heat level for me. But I think but it's I a think chili it's, head hot sauce. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Yeah. And it would like almost be like a burn your face yeah. out yeah. Oh, sauce. Yeah. But if you are used to, you know, eating like full pepper pods or like you you know you've had some of the hottest hot sauces yeah. on the market and stuff this isn't going to be a crazy sauce for mm -hmm. you but yeah it's it is a very it's a very good tasting sauce yeah. like you know you want you want the heat you want something mm -hmm. well i want something that like brings the heat of like you know like reapers scorpion peppers yeah. especially right and i think this sauce brings that but then it also has like flavor to it it's not yeah. like like the uh the raspberry flavor isn't like really like like dominant dominant mm -hmm. yeah exactly but it has just like that little hint that makes it good and i'm not big on mint and it can taste like i think it's like really faint like i, I don't know if i can really i can't you can't really no. taste it i kind of think like i'm i like if i think about it if i didn't know there was mint in there then i don't think i would mm. taste it but just like trying to like you know see if i can taste mint like i think it's really faint oh, okay but definitely and for the aftertaste i don't really get uh much of the lime flavor it's no. more like black pepper which i which you know again i also i i really like that in hot sauces for sure so two things for me is like one i think that is a really like refreshing sauce oh yeah and two, again, I would put this on anything and uh, everything. Yeah, you're right about that for sure. I think that they have a lot of different sauces that are really different flavors yes. that I don't think are... Or like very specific for exactly. a food dish. Yeah. Yeah. That maybe aren't as versatile, but I think these two sauces that we're trying here today are two very versatile sauces. Yeah. One 
uh, a lot hotter than the other yes. one. So, you know, it's good. They have a good range of yeah. a good range of uh, heat for hot sauces, so depending like, on like yeah. your, what you're comfortable with. So somebody can like grow their tolerance like yeah. with just their brand. Exactly, yeah. So we have a few other sauces that we're gonna try later um, that are more uh, from, how would you say it? They're more like flavors from around the world, yeah. I guess you'd yeah. say, right? So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm like super pumped for those ones. Yeah, those ones are, those ones are gonna be some good sauces from the looks of them, yeah. So I'm excited to try them, mm -hmm. you're excited to try them. You guys should be excited to find out about them if you uh, haven't tried them already. And if you'd like to know more about Cooksville hot sauces, just check out the details in the description below. Thanks for watching Hot Reviews, and we'll see you next time. Available at hotsaucesunlimited.com.